Hi, I'm Murray from Sesame Street, and I'm looking for the word on the street. What's the word on the street? Prepared. Do you know what the word prepared means? It means get ready for something. Do you ever get prepared for anything? He has to get prepared for school. I prepare for work. I prepare for a fire. How do you get prepared? I, I get up. Brush your teeth. Putting on a uniform. Keep listening for the word prepared today on Sesame Street. Prepared. That's the word on the street. As a fairy tale knows, special report, fairy tale emergency. Are you prepared? And here is our fairy tale news reporter, Fairy Dawn. Hello, Fairy Dawn here. How can you prepare for a fairy tale emergency? Well, that's what we're going to find out. Now, an emergency is when something happens that you don't expect and you have to be prepared to do something fast. Now, as we all know, tales are full of emergencies. How do fairy tale characters get ready for them? Well, let's ask the three little pigs from that famous fairy tale, the three little pigs. Um, excuse yeah. me. That's excuse the last twig. Me. And that's the last straw. Uh, houses are done. Uh, let's hello. play rock, paper, scissors. Oh, yeah. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Paper, paper, time. Oh, here comes another pig. Hello. Excuse me. Mr. You call those houses? Ha! Excuse me. Mr. Pig, can I have a paper, moment with you? Paper, paper, tie. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Paper, paper, tie. Excuse me. Uh, uh, excuse me, sir. A uh, uh, prairie dawn for fairy tale news. Uh, what kind of emergency are you preparing for? Haven't you read our story? The Big Bad Wolf. The, the, the Big Bad Wolf? Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. he here? No. But you never know when he'll show up and huff and puff and try to blow your house in. Uh -huh. Ah, you worry too much. He worries too much. Yeah, the big bad wolf will never show up here. Uh -uh. This is Sesame Street. Rock, paper, scissors, scissors shoot, shoot, paper. Paper, tie. Well, just in case, I'm going to be ready. Unlike some pigs I know, I have the big bad wolf emergency kit. Huh? The Big Bad Wolf Emergency Kit? That's right. I don't go anywhere without it. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Oh, what have you got in there, Bricks? Yep. That's right. They can't be huffed and they can't be puffed. I'm going to build my house out of bricks. Unlike some pigs I know, the Big Bad Wolf will never blow my house in. Hmm. That sounds like a plan. Ah, uh, who needs a plan? Yeah, don't worry. Play rock, paper, scissors. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Paper, paper, tie. Yeah. The Big Bear Wolf will never come to Sesame Street. Mm -mm. Enter the Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> the, 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 the Big Bad Wolf? The Big Bad Wolf? Told you so. Oh, Hold oh, on to our houses. <laughs> 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 it's made of straw. Oh, goody. <clears throat> I'm going to huff and puff and blow your house in. Huff and puff. <laughs> My house. <laughs> <laughs> Twigs, piece of cake. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh my! This is a true fairy tale emergency. The big bad wolf has blown in the house of straw and the house of twigs. But look! Ah, look at this! This little pig has used the bricks from his Big Bad Wolf emergency kit to build a house. 
<laughs> Huff and puff all you want. You'll never blow this house in. I'm prepared. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> Flat bricks! I hate when that happens. Oh, I can't blow this house in. Told you so. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like this little pig's preparation paid off. His brick house is still standing. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the same old <laughs> story. I have to get me a new fairy tale. Hmm. How about the reporter and the big bad wolf? What? Yes. I could huff and puff you easy. Oh, I don't think you want it, but why, 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 why would you want to do that? I'm the big bad wolf. It's what I do. Oh, <coughs> oh, oh no, no, no. Huff and puff! Ha, 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 that works. Ha, 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 puff and puff. That oh. wouldn't happen if you had a big bad wolf emergency kit. I realize that. Oh. This is Fairy Dawn for Fairy Tale News. We'll be back with more emergency tips after this brief message. <laughs> Can't we talk with you? Hey, watch out for my tapestry. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Taper. 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 You know what word I love? I love the word prepared. Being prepared means you're ready for something. I like to be prepared for lots of things. Let me show you. I always carry crayons, so I'm always prepared to color. And I always carry my mittens, so I'm always prepared to make a snowball. And I always carry this football helmet, so I'm always prepared to play football. <sighs> prepared. <laughs>
<laughs> Fairy tale characters aren't the only ones who have emergencies, you know. Nursery rhyme characters have them too. Hi. <laughs> I'm Humpty Dumpty with a message for all you eggs out there. Has this ever happened to you? You sit on a wall, you have a great fall, then all the king's horses and all the king's men can't put you back together again? Well, now there's a way to protect yourself with the Humpty Dumpty safety helmet. You just put it on. <laughs> hey, oh, oh. There goes Humpty Dumpty again. I wish he'd stop sitting on walls. Yeah. <sighs> oh, oh. Oh. Blimey, he's not poking. <laughs> no, not a scratch on me. <laughs> That's because I'm wearing the Humpty Dumpty safety helmet. <laughs> I see you've smartened up, Mr. Dumpty. I'll have to get one of these for my egg. You can have this one. <laughs> Thanks, mate. You're a good egg. <laughs> Uh-oh! The Humpty Dumpty Safety Helmet. Don't sit on a wall without it. <laughs> to the oh. end hospital! Hello there, Cookie Monster here, and me going to tell you letter of day. Yeah, and I, Super Grover, am going to help with a super plan. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. we can see that. Oh, yes. Yeah. Today's letter is, ha, ha the letter S. Yeah. That is S, as in super. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 wait. wait. Me have to make sure. Yeah, me have to oh, check. Oh, yeah. Of course, of course. Smell test. Yeah, yeah, that smell like letter S. Yeah, sound test. Me listen. S, s, s. Yeah, yeah, that sound like S. Taste test. Ah. Cookie yeah. monster, stop. What? Do what? not eat that cookie. Uh, quick, quick, put it in the basket, quick. What? Yes, yes, okay. yep. in the basket there. Let me try. Okay, okay. Okay. It's oh. in basket. There, oh, there we that go. That was close. Now, now why me Ooh. do that? Hmm? Why me do that? Oh, but trust me. It is all part of my super plan. Watch. I, Super Grover, will pull this rope here, which pulls the basket with the letter of the dead cookie up, up in the way. Wow. Hey, monster. yeah, th mm -hmm. that super plan. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, me no can eat letter of day cookie now. Not now. No. Or can me? Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, what? Yeah. Cookie
Yes, sir. Oh, and you are? <gasps> Sleeping uh, Beauty. Oh, from the fairy tale, Sleeping uh, Beauty. Right. Mm -hmm. And what kind of emergency are you preparing for, Miss Beauty? Falling asleep. Mm -hmm. Falling asleep? But that's not really an emergency, is it? Well, it is if you need a prince to kiss you and wake you up. Hmm. I mean, what if the prince is out of town? Right. Who's going to kiss me and wake me up? Hmm. I'll sleep through everything. Yeah. I'll miss my school, my ballet class, yeah. my golf lessons. Hmm. That's an emergency. I never hmm. thought of it that way. Mm -hmm. That's why I have prepared my Sleeping Beauty emergency wake-up kit. <gasps> Guess what's in it? Oh, perhaps an alarm clock? Ah, how did you guess? Ah, yes. Well, mm -hmm. that'll certainly wake you up. Ah, but what if it doesn't? Mm -hmm. hmm? Uh, oh, you can't be too careful. Mm -hmm. ah, that's why I have something else in my emergency wake-up kit. <laughs> A roaster? Well, that should wake you and everyone else up. Yes! But what if it doesn't? Huh? Have you thought about that? Well, no. Well, I have. That's why I gave this rooster bugle lessons. Bugle lessons? Go to sleep. What? Right now? Yes. <sighs> wow. Sleeping Beauty is asleep. Oh, and there goes the alarm. But the alarm doesn't seem to be waking her up. She thought that might happen. <coughs> Luckily, she was prepared. The backup rooster is crowing just as she planned. But Sleeping Beauty is still not waking up. What a deep sleeper she is. It's a good thing that rooster took bugle lessons. Oh, it worked. Oh, I'm awake. I don't need the prince to kiss me and wake me up anymore. I can wake up on my own. I'm here. Time to wake up, Sleepy Weepums. Oh, you're up? Did another prince kiss you and wake you up? No. I woke up on my own. <gasps> I don't need you to kiss me and wake me up anymore. <gasps> I have my Sleeping Beauty emergency wake-up kit. <laughs> oh. Who am I going to kiss now? Well, well, don't look at me. Oh, there must be another princess around here somewhere. Oh, princesses. Huh. We'll be back with more valuable emergency information after these messages. Oh, no. Not again. No. Look a big alarm clock, just listen to it ring. Mm, that clock is bigger, it's great to hear it do its thing. And here's the biggest clock of all, ring a ding a ding a ding. Yeah. Now here's a big ducky, man I love its squeaky call. Even bigger ducky. Wow, it must be three feet tall. Hey, I think we just got lucky. Here comes the biggest duck of all. Wow, that saxophone is big and its note is loud and strong. And this saxophone is bigger. Wow, it must be six feet long. 
the biggest sex of all And that's the end of my song Bye Bird, oh bird Come on, wake up, wake up your head Get your head up out of bed It's time to wake up, you sleepy head Wake up, please Wake up Ernie, Come on, would you wake up, wake this? up your nose. You've had enough of those pillows. Come smell the roses, sleepy nose. Wake up, wake up. For goodness sake, wake up. Wake up, wake up. For goodness sake, wake up. Come on, wake up. Wake up your eye. The sun is high up in the sky. Come see the light, you stop sleepy that? eye. Wake up. Stop. Stop wake that. up. Now come on. Wake up. Wake up your ear. I've got a song for you to hear. Come listen now, you sleepy ear. Wake up. Wake up. For goodness sake, wake up. Come on, bird. Wake up. Wake up. For goodness sake, wake up. Knees and ankles and elbows. Teeth and fingers, also toes. Each and every body part must wake up. Wake up, those parts. Right, Bert? Wake up. Wake up. That's it. For goodness sake, wake up. You gotta wake up your toes. Wake up. You gotta wake up your fingers. Wake up, you gotta wake up your eyes. Wake up, not a boy, Bert. For goodness sake, wake up. Ernie! So, so you're awake now, Bert? Am I awake? I, all of me! Oh, good. Well, it worked. Have a good night, Bert. What? Oh, what do you mean, good night? You just woke me up! Oh, I know, Bert. Well, I was just practicing for morning. You know, practice makes perfect, Bert. Mm -hmm. but, but Ernie, Ernie, wait, 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 wait. I'm awake. My whole body's awake now. My, my ears are awake. My toes are awake. My fingers, even my nose is awake. Ernie. Er <sighs> come on, settle down, boys. Come on, come. Never mind. Energy. Energy. Energy, energy, energy. What is energy? What is energy? Energy is what keeps you going. Guy, healthy foods have energy. Everybody needs a different kind of fuel. I need a banana for energy. A car needs gas for energy. A horse needs hay. And a bird needs a delicious worm. But when you don't eat foods that are good for you, you don't have any energy. If you don't get the kind of fuel that's right for you, you just won't run. That's true for a car, a horse, a bird, and for me. Actually, Prairie Dawn, mm -hmm. it's the four bales since my sister Curly Bale was born. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Hey, are we on television? Yes. Hi, Mama Bale. Hey, hey. Papa Bale. Hey. Hello, Baby Curly Bale. Bale. Excuse me. Look at me. I'm Baby on the TV. Bear. Baby Bear. What? what kind of emergency oh. are you preparing for? <clears throat> Home 
invasion. Ooh, home invasion? Yes, you never know when Goldilocks will come into your home, sleep in your bed, and eat your porridge. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure all you bells out there can relate. I see. And what are you doing to prepare? I have invented a porridge detector protector. What? A porridge detector protector? Uh, that's correct, yes. Oh. My porridge detector protector lets me know if Goldilocks is about to eat my porridge oh. and mm -hmm. stops her from eating it, too. Oh, mm -hmm. well. For all you wee little bales at home, watch carefully, because I have prepared a wee informational film that I wrote, produced, and directed. You have? Roll the film! Oh, brother. Has this ever happened to you? You go out for a wee little walk in the woods while your porridge is cooling. This porridge is too hot. I think I'll go for a wee little walk in the woods while my porridge is cooling. <laughs> little do you know that Goldilocks is lurking right outside. She enters the cottage without permission and sees the bowl of delicious steaming hot porridge on the table. Oh, yummy! Delicious steaming hot porridge! My favorite! She reaches for a spoon. That's when the porridge detector protector swings into oh. action. The dingo stouts dinging. This alerts the honko, who is standing right outside the door. The honko then honks to warn the duck, who is on duck alert. <laughs> Pelly then jumps onto his pogo stick Sorry. and races through Sesame Street to find me. Baby bear! Baby bear! Baby bear! Kelly, Kelly, not now. No. I'm in the middle of showing everybody my porridge detector protector informational film that but, I won't produce and direct it. But this is an emergency! An, an emergency? Yes, an emergency! What kind of emergency? A porridge emergency! A porridge emergency! Yes! Goldilocks is about to eat your porridge. Press the button. Press that button. This is the emergency porridge detector protector button. When I press this button, the porridge protector drops over the porridge. Our hidden cameras will show you how it works. Ah. Oh! I see the bears have gotten a porridge detector protector. Mm. Smart move. As you can see, the porridge detector protector protected my porridge. <laughs> my, that is quite an elaborate system. Well, it took weeks of planning and preparation and a lot of help from my friends in the community. Oh, glad we could help out, pal. <laughs> <laughs> and, now, and now Goldilocks will oh. never, ever eat my porridge again. Remember, Bells, with a little planning, you too can protect your porridge. Hmm. Speaking of porridge... Let's go to Hooper's store and get some. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. It's on me! All right, right yeah. 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 Please, milk is yummy even if you're not a kitty. I don't have to be a horse to think an apple's good. Hey, take a tip from what I'm saying in this ditty. You'll find you might like food you never thought you would. You don't have to be a birdie to want to eat a grape. Oh, no. Now it's 
time for a healthy storybook moment. As Hansel and Gretel walked in the woods, they were getting great exercise and feeling good. <sighs> oh, hello, I am Hansel. Yeah, and I am Gretel. And, and we, we just want to throw breadcrumbs. <laughs> yeah, we leave a trail so we can find our way home. Yeah, it's a foolproof plan. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, this way, Gretel. Okay, Hansi. <laughs> they came to a house made all out of sweets. Ooh. <laughs> and thought it would make a tasty treat. <laughs> okay, here's the plan. When they stop to eat my house, that's when I catch them. <laughs> and, and thought it would make a tasty treat. Uh, excuse me, you're supposed to eat the house. No. No. No, thank you. We pass. Mm -hmm. But that's how the story goes. Oh, but we do not want a sweet treat. No, we'd rather have a healthy snack. Yeah. <laughs> like what? There's, there's nothing else to eat out in the woods. <laughs> oh, yes, there is. Bread crumbs. <laughs> Good, whole grain, healthy snack. Delicious and nutritious. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's keep walking, Bread. I love to exercise. Wait, come back. No, what'll I do now? I need something to help me think. <laughs> Shut up! The end. I eat the colors of the rainbow. Veggies and fruits that help me grow. Red, red, some of my favorite foods are apples, cherries, strawberries, and tomatoes. Orange, orange, some of my favorite foods are carrots, oranges, peach, and sweet potatoes. Delicious poem, Jalen! Oh, thank you, Baby Bear. Yeah. Oh, hey, Baby Bear. I really like your new porridge detector protector. It works great. Why, thank you, Goldilocks. You know, I designed it myself. Oh, porridge. Can I have some? What? No. Wait, wait, no! Uh, Ellen! Yeah? You know, you Delicious. really should have a porridge detector protector. A porridge detector protector? Uh, yeah, remind me to show you the wee informational film that I both produced and directed. Ah. <sighs> Delish. I like it with soy milk and raisins. Do I have to eat it? Oh, yes, it's good for you. Mm. This is Prairie Dawn for Fairy Tale News. We hope this special presentation, Fairy Tale Emergencies, are you prepared? We'll help all you fairy tale characters with all your fairy tale emergencies. <coughs> Puff and ho, ha, 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 Prairie Dawn, there you are. Now I'm going to huff and puff no, and no, ho. You don't. No, 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 I'm prepared for you this time, Big Bad. Huh? Oh, I have my Big Bad Wolf emergency kit. What's inside, Gulp? Bricks. <gasps> Bricks! Oh, drat! Find again! I need to find another story. Uh, toilet pick? No. This is Prairie Dawn saying, may all your endings be happy. Licorice and the Big Bad Wolf. No. Oh, brother.
If there's a fire in your house or any place you've just been, get out, stay out, don't you go back in. Don't you go back in. If there's a fire anywhere, there's danger there. Get out, stay out, don't you go back in. Don't you go back in. And once you get outside, that is where you should stay. Tell a grown-up says that it's okay. It's okay. There's no two ways about it, so let me hear you shout it. Get out, stay out, don't you go back in. Get out, stay out, don't you go back in. If you left your teddy bear on your favorite chair, get out, stay out, don't you go back in. Don't you go back in. And if you lost one shoe or your toy kangaroo, get out, stay out, don't you go back in. Don't you go back in. And if you left your truck or your favorite doll or your rubber duck or your basketball, there's no two ways about it, so let me hear you shout it. Get out, stay out, don't you go back in. Get out, stay out, don't you go back in. Hey, I'm talking serious here now. Hey, Michael? Yeah? I have a question for you. What? I, I heard this new word, and I'm not sure what it means. What? The word is emergency. Have, have you ever heard of that? Yes. It's something, emergency is something that's a very important, like uh -huh. if there's a fire. Well, if, if it's a fire, it's an emergency? Yes. And what do you do in an emergency? Wherever you are, you gotta try to stay away from the fire. Don't okay, so if the fire's the emergency, get away from the fire. Right? You get away from it. Yeah. And do, do we call anybody if it's an emergency? Yes. Who, who do you call in an emergency? The fire fire. Well, That's how do you get in touch with it? What is it? 911. You call 911 in emergency. Yes. Michael, you sure know a lot about emergencies. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. She To become a firefighter, you have to be brave, be pure-hearted, and care about other people. When I grow up, I want to be a girl firefighter. Uh, ding, ding, ding! Fire dogs are really excellent, and they're so great because they are so excellent. I like firefighters because... They save people. Thank you, firefighters! Thank you, firefighters! Thank you, firefighters. I love you. Hey, come spend some time with me and my favorite number. Number one. Ow! Let me tell you about a number I know. It comes before two and after zero. Don't look like much, just a simple straight line. One of a kind, it's a number so fine. Can you tell me its name? One! Let me hear it again! One! We're talking about the number one! Once you count, you gotta have one! Without this number, the count is no fun! You 
start with one whenever you count So you need one to count to in your mouth Count how many chickens one. Count how many penguins one, 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 one. Sing it! The number one, the number one, the number one The number one, number one. Count on showing your appreciation one. To my favorite number sensation Sensation, a sensation, a sensation Woo. What comes after zero? One. Who's my number one hero? One. What's two take away one? one? And who will not be outdone? Say the number one, the number one, the number one The number one, the number one, the number one The number one, the number one The number one, the number one It's that number one The number one, the number one The number one, the number one. Who's got two on the run? The number one. What are those dogs doing with those logs? Hmm. What do you suppose they're up to? Try and guess. Could they be building a totem pole? A lookout tower? It could be the number one. The monumental number one. Fatty and Crookie have built the number one. <clears throat> um, how many birds can sit on this wire before this song is sung? The answer, my friend, is one. And now my song is done. After having thousands of contestants from around the country play musical chairs, just three now remain in the game. <laughs> Tally Monster, huh? Zoe, Hi. and Elmo. Hello! Congratulations on surviving this far. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Elmo loves musical chairs. The question is, who will be the last monster to survive? There are only... 
two chairs. Mm -hmm. And there are three monsters. Yep. <laughs> that means one of you will not get a chair to sit on when the music stops. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. Are we ready? Yeah. 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 yeah! Let's see who survives. Start the music. Go, we're starting! Sorry, Telly. Oh, Three monsters take away one. Sorry, Telly. Yeah. Sorry, Telly. We love you anyway. Yeah. That leaves two monsters. Yay! Now we subtract a chair. Take it away, please. Oh, boy. Okay, let's go. Two monsters, oh, one low. chair. This is it, Elmo, Zoe. Yeah. One of you will get to sit on a chair, yeah. and one of you will not survive. Oh. Good luck, Zoe. Good luck, Elmo. Start the music. Oh, oh, here we go. Exciting. So, Elmo is sitting in the last chair. Yep. Two <laughs> monsters take away one. Congratulations, Elmo. <laughs> Sorry, Zoe. That leaves one monster. Elmo is the winner. <laughs> oh, I didn't survive, Ellie. Me neither. <sighs> Gee, Elmo doesn't like that Elmo's friends are sad. And Elmo is all alone now. Yes, yes, Elmo. You survived. But, but, Mr. Jeff, Elmo doesn't want to be alone. Elmo wants to play with his friends. But that's not how we play the game. There can only be one winner, one survivor. Oh, oh, then Elmo wants to change the game. Change the game? Yeah, yeah, let's play. How many monsters can sit on a chair together? Hmm. Sounds interesting. Survivor sharing the chair. Yeah! Come on in, everybody! Yeah. Yeah. Sharing yeah. the chair? Yeah. I like that! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> this is exciting. Three monsters on one chair. Can they add one more and make Four monsters sharing the chair. Hold Find on, out please. next time on Survivor Sharing the Chair. Oh. I got you, Elmo. I got you. Somebody stick with me. Wow. 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 It's time for action with Traction Jackson. I have a chair. Kiss me from here to bed. Takes me most anywhere that any two feet could take me. I love a chair, has me to get around, making my way through town. Just as fast as shoes could take me, faster than shoes, and my chair goes forward. Try to track, <laughs> but we're quite a pair. We fly on air. We're quite a pair. Me and my chair. Me and my chair. <laughs> Yeah. Abigaboo. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just love playing real people peekaboo. <laughs> when we play in fairy tale land, mm -hmm. we always just turn invisible. Okay, that sounds like fun, Abby. Oh, well, it's not as much fun as peekaboo. Peekaboo. <laughs> you know what, Marco? What? I'm going to read you a story oh, read from my real people oh, storybook. Oh, yes. All right. Okay. See? It's called Real People Tales. <laughs> Gina, will you turn the pages for With me? With pleasure. Marco's okay. already started. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I'm not going to read, you know. Um, I just know all the stories by heart, so I'm going to pretend, okay? Okay. All right. Sounds Here we good. go. Okay. Okay, can you see? All right. Once there was a girl named Brooke whose mom was a short order cook. She couldn't make pumpkins by waving a wand, but her pumpkin pies were simply grind. <laughs> <laughs> the end is Very cute. good, Abby. Oh, boy, don't you just love real people magic, huh? Oh, well, yes, I do, but you know, Abby, your pumpkin trick is pretty amazing. Oh, really? Hmm. A la Rindrick. <laughs> That's for you, Gina. So you can make a real people pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Cool. Sesame Street was brought to you today by the letter S and by the number one. <laughs> I love pumpkin pie. I do too. Come on, let's go. I can play peekaboo behind the pumpkin. Peekaboo. <laughs> <laughs>